Welcome to Three Mile Island Stadium in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. Today's forecast is going to be cool and breezy with nuclear lightning and intermittent chance of acid rain. So for those sitting in the stands, don't forget to wear your hazmat suits. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Leland Burns take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> if you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And bricks look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. And it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. His big ass will probably show up. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. But it doesn't always pay off, does it? Yeah, that chuck. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? A man from prison just came out of the field! That's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> First down and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey get wrapped it on his backside from that bad bird he had last year. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving a point. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. If 
there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky finds his head. He'll be okay. Second down and seven. The defender's one feet just kicked in. He's so fast. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh. <laughs> Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And he's off to the races. He's hit, and that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. And you better... And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Second down and long. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Third down and ten. and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and a very lot. Oh, nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. Third down and, well, good luck. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And that 
snaps another, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well played. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. First and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and five. Defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. And that'll be second and eight to go. Nine, one, eight. And another interception. This quarterback and the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, yeah. First and four. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. But a team loses all their running backs. They lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. secondary four. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on it. And this game is up for grabs. Third down and long. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. 
And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the bone. Oh, that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that'll be second down and four. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. First and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. Congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Third down and five. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just, oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. run for five yards second down and five oh and he's like every one of my barbecues this guy's on fire does he look original or extra crispy bam say good night to that guy bricks uh, good night to that guy bricks you're an idiot now the offense is getting kills this is really a violent game guys a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after... The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the duck, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to flop it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll go oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Hey man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't in 
impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. You've got to love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for the Zuckman. And it's first and ten. Footsteps, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Second down and ten. Ah, another interception. Boom! Second down and ten. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. Second down and ten. Oh, the unstoppable to jump over those mines or steer clear of them. Must be their lucky day. The off and he punched his way out of that tackle. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, boy. Touchdown! <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Pass and catch for three. Receiver needs to break some tackle. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Second down. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. 
And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I had to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? At this point, with multiple inter... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Hey, man, I'm scared of Silla. I am a hell of a son And it's first and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time. NFL is an episode. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Not two. Not, not. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more risk. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field. This game has been one lopsided route. Yeah, football games are kind of like boobs. Big or small, they're both great. Except for when they're lopsided. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass.
Some fine footwork right there. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. That was a good throw, and assuming he was aiming for the ground. Third down, and the punter is warming up. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. But probably stupid. Oh, man, what a throw. He's rumbling and stumbling. totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl First down in a mile. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the defense gets another pick. Man, oh! with the brain scrambler. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. Second down and more. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. First down! Give this guy a few catches and... I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. First down and one.
second down and six. He reflew and like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And the defense falls from that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. Second down and ten. for a couple of yards. Third down and eight. He could go all the way. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. Forfeit the game because all their quarterbacks are dead. There's no one left to throw the ball, so this game is over. Well, that's one way to win a game. Kill all the players on the opposing team. Yeah, don't seem fair, Grim. Hey, life's not fair, dipshit. But it's not kicking in the head, it's kicking in the balls. And they line up for the extra point. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's 
First and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And the defense recovers the ball. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. The Blitzburg Steelheads are decimated and destroyed today. They lose by forfeit. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I got a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other...